Hi everyone, so this is uh, Vicky and I am doing an unboxing of the November 2020 kits today. I was hoping for some natural light today, but unfortunately it's really dark and dreary here, so we have to do this under fake light. So I hope it's going to be okay and you'll be able to see what we have. So I'm going to start off with the papers. Now I have both the paper pack and the main kit, so I can show you both sides and lay them out here. Um, but that's why I've got, um, I can show you each side. So we start off with this one. They're all exclusive. So um, they're all exclusively designed for hip kit by Kim and Kimberly. And um, this collection is called Merry Everything. And it's beautiful. So these gifts are fab. I can just see, you know, lots of fussy cutting on these and um, endless possibilities. The reverse side of that is this lovely pink snowflake design, which is just beautiful. I think that'll make a lovely background paper. Then we've got this one with some baubles and snowflakes, nice deep Christmassy green. There we go. Lots of fussy cutting on here as well. I am, lo I love fussy cutting. So, <laughs> And then this is really cool. This is just sort of a, like lots and lots of dots, almost, I can't explain the pattern, but this is, it's just fabulous. And I think that'll make a lovely background paper. So then the next paper has lots and lots of Christmas trees, of course, for our Christmas layouts. And again, these would be great fussy cut lots. If you've got the patience to fussy cut such little things, which I do, but um, beautiful. And then the reverse of that is a nice um, black and white stripe, which is always helpful. And all of these have a nice um, manufacturer strip at the bottom, the reverse is pattern. So don't forget those and, and they can be used on your layouts. The next paper we have is candy canes and holly. Really, really pretty green there. I really like this color. And there's little white dots on it that look like snow, which is very sweet. And this one here is the reverse and it's just a stripe with a dotty stripe, red dotty stripe, very versatile for things. Um, this is really pretty, this paper, lots of snowflakes again on here. These colours are just delicious um, and uh, I think that will be beautiful. And then this again, this is little dots and I don't know if you can see but there's lots of pattern on here little fairies and snowflakes really pretty but very very subtle lovely paper okay and the next one I have has lots of stockings on it um, very cute for cutting those you could cut those out and uh, hang them all over a Christmas tree uh, really pretty lovely colors again and the reverse side of that is is this sort of a red plaid design, which, um, which is really nice. I don't use red throughout the year until Christmas and then I love it. So, <laughs> so that's that one. The next one we have, I love is, this one's called Snowdrift and I'm gonna get it onto the camera. It's just lots of little tiny snow covered houses. And I just think that's beautiful. It would make a lovely border if you fussy cut a strip of them. It would make a lovely border on a page. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to work with that one. Let's put that one there. And then the reverse side of that is just a black and white um, vertical horizontal stripe, like a plaid. And uh, this, again, really versatile. I'm going to have trouble choosing which side to use for some of them, but luckily I have two. <laughs> this one is dotty, lots and lots of dots. It's called pom-poms and it's, um, that's super pretty. I really like that. That could make a nice little background too. Bit of white gesso on there to, for where you're going to put your photo. Um, beautiful. And the reverse side of that is this lovely pale blue. There we go. And then the next paper is like a, it's like a sweater, knitted sweater with snowflakes. I don't know if you can see the texture on that. Not having the natural light is not great for this, but, um, but yeah, that's really pretty too. And the reverse side of that has lots of holly and sprigs 
and there's that lovely green colour. Okay, the next one, this is a nice bold one. Again, I can see me fussy cutting these flowers and holly on here. Nice lots of uh, um, opportunities for embellishments that way. And then this one is just a green with, with Christmas trees on it, which again, really cute. So the, I've got the cardstock kit as well. So I'm just gonna show you the colors in that while I'm showing you the paper so you can see it all together. We've got this red, which is called, you get two sheets of each in the cardstock kit. This is called, I do not know what this is called. It is called <laughs> Lava. So uh, yeah, red hot. <laughs> this one's really dark. It's like a really dark gray color and it's called Cinder. That's a lovely, that'd be really nice for some nice striking dark backgrounds. Again, two pieces of that. This one is called Turquoise Mist. On the screen, it looks bluer than it is. It is actually turquoise, so it's really quite difficult to see it, um, but that's a really pretty color. Then we've got a really deep Christmassy green, which is called, oh, what is that called? That's a good question. Oh, jawbreaker. <laughs> Couldn't read that, I must need glasses. Um, and that's a deep green. Again, it, you can't quite see the color of it on the screen, which is unfortunate, but, um, but that's really nice. Goes really well with these other greens that we've got in the kit. Then we've got this colour, which is Star Mist. Lovely, lovely pale blue, which um, which goes really well with this paper here with the houses on. Whoops, there we go, we're running out of space. There's so much in this kit. We have this yellow, which is called Beeswax. I'm a big fan of yellow, I love it. Absolutely love it. And then we've got a couple of sheets of white, plain white basil. Then we've got two sheets of this one, which is called Quartz. It's a lovely pale pink, goes really well with the pinks in the kit. Can we still see them? Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got this one, which is called Flamingo. And this is a sort of a, a red, it sort of implies pink, but actually I would say it's sort of more on the red side of pink. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, paper and the cardstock. Stand by and we'll go through the rest of the main kit. Okay, so this is the main kit. Um, and this is what you're getting with one set of the papers that I just showed you. So first up we have a sequin mix. I hope you can see that really lovely 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 colors um pinks blues reds greens very festive and goes really perfectly with this kit then we have the exclusive embellishments can't see what on the back what they are so i'll open these up in a bit lay them out so that you can see them we've got enamel dots or puffy dots sorry not enamel dots puffy dots coordinating perfectly all the different colors we have these great wood veneer stickers. Look, they have um, wood veneer and they have the white on them, which is really pretty. Yeah, lovely. Then we have the chipboard stickers, and this is great. Lots of frames, always great for layering. Um, we've got some titles. We have some florals, beautiful rocking horse there. We have a Russian doll. A fairy for the top of the tree, really pretty, more florals. That holly is just super cute. And then we have this fabulous alpha, which I don't know if you can see, but it's red with little white detail on it, um, which is really sweet and festive. And we've just got the letters there. Yeah, no numbers there, just letters. Really cute, love it. Right, let's open up the embellishments and lay those out just so that you can see those. Oh, if I can get into them. I'm very clumsy this morning. Doing this before I start work, so I don't get distracted thinking about the kit all day. <laughs> so you can see there's lots in there. Trees, 
banner, snowflakes, snow globe, titles, Santa, little mug there with hot chocolate, florals there, little TV, baubles, more titles, penguin, more banners, very sweet, lots of different things in there, plenty of Plenty of inspiration really there for layouts. That's sweet, a little envelope with the floral sticking out and a bow. That's really sweet. There we go. So um, I'll just pack this away and then we'll be on to the embellishment kit. Okay, so now we have the embellishment kits and I um, we have some more die cuts in here. I'm not going to open these because they're actually listed on the back. You can see them. There's lots of florals, little sweater, some houses, um, some leaves, some gifts, trees, all sorts of things in there. Plenty of embellishments to go embellishment heavy on your kits. I love it. Then we have these stars, which are vellum die cuts. And there's lots of those in there. Can't see them on the back, but I think you can get the gist of it from having a look here. Um, they're going to be lovely, great for layering. These are lovely, the puffy stickers. Joyful, special family, Christmas. Just, just small, thinnish puffy stickers. Again, great for layering. And the chipboard. These are amazing. And I know that Kimberly... Um, lost her mum recently and she wanted to pay tribute to her in this kit and so these little vintage um, tree ornaments are doing just that and they're just stunning. They did a fantastic job designing these and it's a beautiful tribute to, to Kimberly's mum. So we've got some titles in here as well as the ornaments, the um, vintage ornaments. Look at the rocking horse, I'm just, oh just so cute and a little ballerina very very sweet christmas plays for kids that'd be perfect for look at this wreath it's just lovely how it's thicker at one end thinner it's really sweet yeah i, I really like this i think this is my favorite item in the kits <laughs> and these are always fun lots and lots of puffy sticker titles and um, there's lots there christmas merry and bright santa Stay cosy, happy, home for the holidays. Of course, lots of us will be home for the holidays this year, keeping ourselves safe. This is the Alpha, a nice scripty font, very thin, black, very, very versatile. You can use this with, with pretty much anything. And then we have these. They're um, oh, here we go. acetate. I'm going to take them out so we can have a bit of a look. I don't know how the the um the light will work with well with them though. So we've got houses, snowflakes, candle. <laughs> I thought it was a bottle of wine. I was I was excited for a moment. Um, a wreath with a snowman. Another candle there. Another snowman. Florals. These are lovely. Really lovely. These would be great for layering up. And uh, yeah, can't wait to use those. So I'll just put these away and the next kit will be the Pocket Life Kit. Okay, so the Pocket Life Kit. As always, we have the, um, the Pocket Life cards, which are always fantastic for layering. I don't do Pocket Life myself, but I do use them for layering. So we've got spreading the cheer, fun traditions. These are all matching in with those papers that we looked at at the beginning. Holly jolly days, cute, shining bright, trimming the tree, our traditions. Share the love, the joy of giving, spending time together. With these, I would use these bits as layers and I would cut these little titles out and use those as um, journaling pieces. Celebrate the season, December craftiness. Oh, craziness. <laughs> and this one, these are just solid colours, which are really cute. Merry, holidays, joy and believe. Sing, 
fa la 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 holiday kisses joy 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 so many memories so many memories the december we always have a month card merry everything and just these two playing with the snowflakes and the stars fantastic lots of layering opportunities there this is the cardstock die kits and you can see on the back what's in here again we've got the full elf alpha with oh no this isn't the alpha this is numbers so we've got looks like three or four of each number not certain how many but plenty there and then some tags and labels and things just for for journaling so fantastic and these match with that red alpha but they're obviously black and the white on them is a little bit bigger but um they'll go well these are cute these in fact maybe these are my new favorite i'm not sure <laughs> these are little stamps look at the little serrated edges on the chipboard just gorgeous i love these so much really sweet and then puffy stars who doesn't need some puffy stars on their christmas layouts perfect another little alpha here more pocket life size but great for um layering up with the other alphas to make a larger title and we've got two colorways for that well four colorways for those and then we've got these are just little um word stickers things like dear santa let me explain <laughs> no peeking love this day best time of the year happiest of holidays santa stop here um, very sweet from Pretty Little Studio there. Those are really great. These are more puffy stickers. There's a dog. Yay! <laughs> kind of looks like my dog. Yeah, sweet. So definitely be using that. And trees and holly and candy canes. Really sweet. And then the cardstock stickers. More, you know, um, classic icons here. Um, with a few cuties stuck in. These little mice are really, really sweet. Um, ugly sweater day. Love it. And I definitely have one. So um, so I see I'm planning my photos already looking at these for Christmas. <laughs> right, so that's the pocket life. Next up will be the colour and stamp kits. Okay, so these are two kits. The first kit is the stamp kit, um, and this is an exclusive, and it's for making up your own snow globes. So obviously you have the snow globe shape here, and you have a little snowman you can put in, and a house, and snow, and little texts, little titles, a little tree. Very cute, and they've got the little, little backings for the house, so that's goes behind that part of the house and that goes behind the roof and that goes behind the snowman um lots of possibilities with this i'm going to use this for my christmas card for the for my nieces my christmas cards for them because i think they'll really like that and um yeah and obviously i can use it on my layouts as well but that's that was my main reason for getting this i, I really love it and then we move on to the color kit now this is all coming in the color kit we've got Nouveau Glimmer Paste, look at that. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there. Uh, I don't know if my lights will allow you to see that, but it's, um, that's fabulous. I'm looking forward to using that with, perhaps with a stencil. Um, I didn't get the stencil kit this time, unfortunately, so I can't show you that, but um, this would look great with those. And then we've got um, a Magicals called Rudolph's Nose Red. What else would it be called? So I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like. And then we've got the Nouveau Shimmer Powder. So I haven't used one of these before, so I'm interested to see how that goes. But it says create beautiful metallic colour bursts. So I'm excited to try this. So look out on YouTube for all the design team videos. Someone will be using this soon um, and we'll be able to see how it's used. Uh, then we've got these um, crystal drops, which we've had before, not this colour, obviously, but we've had the crystal drops before. And so these are great for creating dimensions. So you can create um, enamel dots almost from these. Just You just have to be patient to let them dry. But you can also use them in different ways. You can put some on your page and scrape it so it's more like a, a paste on your page for mixed media. You can water it down with, with some water and use it sort of almost like a watercolour. But lots of ideas for that. 
and this is another one but this one's called mustard gold this one was called um what was it called i don't know i can't see the name on there oh here we go shimmering rose that one's called um so this will be great water this down we could get some nice gold splatters from this i'm sure looks great so that's all I have. That's what I wanted to show you. Apologies for the light. I was hoping to have some, some natural light for this, but it wasn't to be. But um, yeah, I'll link the kits in the, um, in the comment uh, in the uh, comment section on the on YouTube. But unfortunately, I do think that they're sold out, uh, most of them. So apologies for that. But if you've got the kit and you've got the kit coming and it hasn't arrived yet, hopefully this has given you some insight into what's there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.